Have you ever visited a state or a national park and felt like you were on another planet? Well, that's exactly what it felt like to be at this state park. Stick around to find out which state park we were at. We are headed out today. This is what the truck looks like when it's all super packed. Thor is also back there, but we are dropping him off. He's not going with us, um, unfortunately. It's just easier without him, but it is. We are packed. Luckily, we can move some stuff around once Thor gets dropped off to my mom um, and then hit the road on this rainy day. Hopefully, it clears up a little bit for us. Okay, first stop, Goblin Valley State Park. Everybody really suggested it. It's been highly recommended. So what do you think, Tara? Is this gonna be conducive to us walking around? Let's try it. We're already here, we already paid. So. I know, right? All right. I'm gonna get my coat. <sighs> Bringing the drone just in case. So oh, the storm's kind of blowing in. It's hopefully blowing, I mean, mostly it's blowing past us. It was really dark over there, but it's getting darker further over. But. Way we could pass this up. Wow, this is awesome. Just hiking down. It's kind of sprinkling. How you feeling, Bubba? I got pack pocket. You pack pocket? So it's windy, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, so Goblin Valley State Park does have a few designated trails, but for the most part, it's kind of just free roam and exploration. They just say, you know, be mindful of the hoodoos that might maybe look a little bit more fragile, um, you know, and any, just be respectful basically. Don't do anything stupid or crazy to them. So it's usually windy around here um, from what we've seen in other videos. We'd already planned on coming to the park on our way to Moab. So rain or shine, we're gonna try to make it work. And the sun just came out slightly better than nothing. It's not too bad though. Just a little bit of rain. A little bit of rain never hurt anybody. It's a hoodoo. All right, what are they called? Hoodoo. Oh, it's called a hoodoo? Yeah. The rocks, the tall rocks. It's a hoodoo or hoodoo? Hoodoo. At first, I said a hookah beluga. A hookah beluga. So the area is prone to flash flooding, and you can see, you know, like the water areas when they come through. But a lot of them, like, make their way through, like, just a, through around the rocks, through the rocks, underneath the rocks. Is that just a big pile of? Okay, who? Whatever. A rock is a hoodoo type of hoodoo rock. I don't know. Anyway, it's cool that they just make their own little tunnels. We've been here all of like 10 minutes and now it's like super calm and not windy at all. So that's nice. <laughs> Makes it easier to explore, especially with little kids. I guess Goblin Valley has like one of the darkest skies and best skies for viewing the sky at night because there's no big cities that are close to have the light pollution. So they love, they have a lot of people who come at night to do um, like stargazing and you can see the Milky Way really good, I guess. Oh, the sun came out. 
most of the wind went away. <laughs> it's beautiful. Dominic has the drone up. And I know a lot of like state parks and national parks, drone use is often either hard to obtain or just not allowed. But here it's like, you just fill out the form when you get here and it's like $10 on top of the day pass. So super easy. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that we didn't just not come because with the weather we were highly debating not coming at all and just skipping it maybe for leaving it for tomorrow but oh we have some sun the first blue skies we've seen today and it is gorgeous and because of the weather earlier there's not hardly anyone here which is great because like we have it all to ourselves all right what are your thoughts thoughts from a kid on goblin valley state park it's awesome and some trails that we go on following like, like staying on the trail down. but there could be other cool stuff off the trail that you want to climb here you can just really walk wherever there are some trails you can go on but when you just walk all over you can go to any rock there's some holes and caves you can climb in i really like it